the unspeakable horrors of the deep sea. What do we have here, Casual Geographic? You probably heard you? me say that I'd rather eat That's 10 crazy. pounds of Popeye's biscuits with no drink That's than ever go out absurd. into the ocean. Well, but I agree. I'd rather ride cross country on a bike with a hot grill for a seat than spend oh. half a second in the deep sea. Oh There's my a God. lot of living nightmares or paralysis demons come to life if you sink deep enough. And the Megalodon is not one of them. You'll right. often hear this thing about how what? the prehistoric apex predator never got discontinued. It's just chilling a step above hell in the abyss. This is Cap for two, well actually three good reasons. One, there just isn't enough food to sustain a 60 foot you to the natural order. Two, if I nature mean, did keep the same jumbo jaws that you know. have seen, we at least would have seen a body by now. Yeah. And number three, why do y'all want this to be alive so bad? I promise you there's way worse. I mean, the ocean is a hell of a place, boy. I mean, but it, I it's see, a big I, ass place. I can see a megalodon being dead though. I can see it being dead, I can see it being alive, it's a big Those ass place. Down. Like, I would evacuate my bowels if I ever saw a giga great white shark. But put me in front of a T-posing squid and I'm more bricks than the entire city of New York. The big fin squid is easily one of the most disturbing things alive as I'm saying this. It's what? a T-posing predator with arms estimated to max out Damn. at just under 30 feet. Scientists believe the big Jesus fin catches Christ. bodies by dragging those arms, which can be easily 20 times its own body length along That's the ocean insane. floor like trawling nets and feeding on whatever poor soul accidentally bumps into them. You're gonna hear me say believe or we think a lot, and that's because we don't know a whole lot about them. Almost every sighting and virtually every specimen study were you, either bro. juveniles or paralarva. We have no way of knowing exactly what their <laughs> final form could look like. For that all we know, insane. this could be that junior, would. we just haven't seen Mama Big Fin yet. Who would have thought that just putting elbows on a squid would instantly turn it into the spawn of Satan? Oh, and if you thought the Big Fin was just this slow, passive floating that? predator, Dang. then you're seriously underestimating the ocean's oh, ability to man. massacre your mental health. And if you're curious, this video Damn. was taking about 7,000 feet down in the Gulf of Mexico. But considering oh, they're- Oh, no! I don't even go in there for I ain't go, I don't go in there because it's brown, but still, jeez. Need to be the deepest living squids at about 20,000 feet. Are they poisonous? I have a theory. This is a juvenile, and the big boys are the ones shacking it up down in the crotch of the ocean. But good news, the big fin probably only feeds on small fish and crustaceans. Bad news, there are squids big enough to beef with the biggest predators on the planet. And the biggest predator on the what planet the, that uh, isn't a disgraced former whale. YouTuber is the sperm oh. whale, which on its own <laughs> Wait a minute. Beluga? Wait a Wait. minute. Wait a the minute. The disgraced former YouTuber. I, I think he's just in general. He's just a general phrase. Uh, would have to be one of the most traumatizing things to witness during their two hour hunting expeditions down in the deep sea. Well, the tankiest carnivore on Earth regularly runs fades with the giant squid. And by giant, we're talking about calamari growing to an estimated 40 feet long. Not Jesus only are Christ. they themselves predators that hunt using 20 foot tentacles, they're opportunistic What was the mythical squid called? The Kraken. The Kraken. That would 100% murk their entire family reunion for some calories. Now, nature high key screwed up their character design. They have a donut shaped brain and an esophagus running through it, meaning if they swallow something Don't big enough, nothing. not only do they run the risk of choking to a flat line, they can also factory reset their entire personality through severe brain damage, oh. which is why they mitigate this by shredding their victims with a razor sharp oh, beak. No. And it's essentially a tongue with teeth, the radula. Oh, that beak is such no. a weapon that you'll rarely see a sperm whale that hasn't been tattooed during a struggle with a giant squid. Oh. And while the Bro, they be fighting, fighting. They be fighting back. They that be fighting, fighting. What? Bro, that's not a small thing. <laughs> Dude, Jesus! Well, that hasn't been tattooed during a struggle with a giant squid. And while the plus size cephalopod usually loses in a war with the whale, they do not make it easy. They but the most can't. disturbing thing about them is that eye. Giant squids have the most physically imposing Jesus eye in Christ. nature, with it being roughly the size of a soccer ball. Contrary terrifying. to popular a belief, soccer huge eyes don't exactly help it see further, but it does mean they're terrifyingly good at noticing objects giving off their own light. Which is a lifesaver, since when their biggest optosperm whale is on the hunt, modern day leviathan disturbs glowing creatures like jellyfish and crustaceans who flash oh. in response. Having eyes as big okay, as their heads okay. means a giant squid can detect and use those flashes to avoid becoming a coarse. But that also means that if you ever go swimming in the Giga Squid's area code, the flashes you'd Why create that mean that while that you might mug. not see it, the same animal that does its own kind dirty would know exactly where you are. No, and honestly, terrifying. there's only one thing that could be worse than getting st Look how big! Look at him. I, I see him. him! He down yeah. there! Look how big that is. Why is he so close? Boy, I'd have a battery in that. That I'd water have, would be brown! Boy, I'd have a battery in two. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all seen the merch, the, the What To Do crew and the City Boys? This will be up permanently, so y'all can get these forever. But the current collection will, that will be gone this month 
We got the laugh more. We got the more laughs, less sad. Sad. We got another one. Go check out the current collection. Get that. It'll be gone in a more well, within the month. Yeah. And you know, shopinternetcity.com. Go ahead and get that, folks. <laughs> and that still probably squid don't work. Sized head foot. There's another squid with hunting tactics so spiritually upsetting. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a lifeline. The Humboldt squid, also known ah, as the there she devil. Is. I'm Lindsay, by the way. Hi. Humboldt squid are found in the eastern Pacific Ocean, typically between 600 to 2300 feet below the surface of the ocean. And their nickname comes from the Too way they use their me. pigment cells called chromatophores to communicate. You're probably familiar with chromatophores through videos of different cephalopods using them to change oh, color, blending yeah. into their surroundings, yeah. and even dream. That's cool. And Humboldt squid notably cool. use them to turn bright red when they're aggravated. Hence the nickname Red Devil. It's very on brand. They're also extremely predatory. Okay. Okay. have been known to act aggressively towards scuba divers on rare occasion, which becomes a bit more terrifying when I- Boy, boy, boy. Boy, I swear I'll be in there. Man, man, man. I'll, I'll take off the man. You doing all that talking. You that they can get to eight feet long and 100 pounds. Now you might be thinking, Lindsay, that is not that big. What about the giant squid and the colossal squid that can both get to like 40 feet long? What? I haven't told you the best part yet. The Humboldt squid is known to live and hunt in groups of up to 10, no, up to a hundred? No, a thousand? Yes. What? In groups of Whoa. over a thousand. One Whoa. thousand squid. That's about 992 too many if you ask me. While hunting in these Bass. groups, they use their chromatophores to communicate with each other, coordinating movements and attacks, oh, allowing them that's to a take lot down of larger squid. prey, dragging them into the depths until they go unconscious. Scientists have identified some oh of these communication God. patterns, as you can see in this little chart, but still don't know exactly what any of them mean. But I'm telling you, a battery. Bro, you're gonna kill everything in the <laughs> Including yourself. I'm in a That's rubber suit. Okay. A rubber suit? I, don't, I, I ain't gonna get electrocuted in a rubber suit. I don't know. I got a full <laughs> rubber suit. Hey. Them fish, dead. Give it a try. I will. You gonna be in there with me? <laughs> no, I'm not. Regardless, I'm playing my worst ways no, to be involved in the ocean. Oh wait, this isn't a TikTok collaboration. That sounds like one of the worst ways to die in the ocean. So as you can see, whether it's being confronted by a Humboldt block no. party or squaring up with a live action kraken, there are many aspects of the deep sea that end up with you putting your therapist up a tax bracket, and a lot of that's because of this <laughs> known as deep sea gigantism. The idea uh -huh. that the cold temperature, uh -huh. the dissolved oxygen, and the lack of pressure from predators allow some animals to escalate to the biggest and most terrifying versions of themselves. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I, I thought he was saying it's not no, boy, boy. I thought he was boy. saying it's not foul by boy. the boy. So, boy. Exhibit A, the Japanese spider crab. Which Yo! Can measure 12 feet across from yeah. claw to claw and weigh as much as a human toddler. Only thing worse than a giant spider Yo. crab is a giant crab spider. This is an Antarctic sea spider, a dinner plate sized demon spawn that hunts by sucking the life out of its prey through its proboscis. Both things be down at living. Not actual spiders. But also, I imagine most people watching technically don't give a f especially since no, this one looks like it identifies as a face hugger. Then there's a giant isopod, oh. which is essentially an aquatic cockroach big enough to be cradled like a baby. No clue why you would, though. And if you're looking for a truly supersized animal crossing, the. Yeah, you know, skin a win. Look at that head. Skin a win. Look at the head. Skin a win. Why it look like a wolf dog skin thing? Win. Orfish should be on your list. The giant orfish can grow to well over 30 feet long, and there have even been claims of those in the neighborhood oh, no. of 50 feet. How did you catch back it? In the day when we had stories about sea monsters, they weren't lying. They just didn't have all the names yet. Also, if you caught that pun earlier, we're friends now. But with deep sea gigantism and the endless How expanse of ocean acting it? as a canvas for Shaitan to practice his art, if you dive deep enough, there be monsters. For example, this. What this is, what is an animal. Hell? It's a group of animals joined together in something like a hive mind. So this we're not is joined into a Megatron, I'm a Megazoid, a, a fucking Power Rangers, a fucking Super. God damn! This is terrible commentary. I don't know. I'm just saying. What's the name of the that, thing is? It's a Megazord. I did. I said it right at but first. You said Megatron first. I said Megatron. I said Megazord first. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. It don't matter. I'm not talking about it. I'm, just, I'm still saying though, a battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put a shot to they system, guys. We're talking about them. And so Final Fours like this come in many forms. Like the Portuguese man of war armed with venom to ensure that the excruciating experience of meeting one is permanently etched into your brain. That's the one thing I'm scared of. Venomous of Final animals. Four that can flex a total length of up to 160 Jesus feet. Christ. And even though it's a collective group of tiny animals, its length could humble a blue whale, making it technically oh, the longest creature on the planet. 
or at best a modest second, since the bootlace ribbon worm has been reported to reach 180 feet in length. Bootlace and it's ribbon toxic worm. Because the ocean, and of course it is, with nasty smelling uh. mucus potent enough to life deprive the crabs it likes to eat. Like uh. I said, whether it's Lucifer's tapeworm or a flying spaghetti creature, uh. there be monsters. And it gets so much worse than a giant What's worm. What's worse? As terrifying as a deep sea what is, the is worse? it's also nasty. And there might not be anything more repulsive than the hagfish. This loogie linguini feeds on the rotting corpses and carcasses that sink down into its domain. And since they don't have any actual teeth, the graveyard guppy feeds by sliding into an opening and eating the decomposing body from the inside oh! out. And you would think that something that eats like a casket wouldn't have to worry about getting put on a plate itself. Again, you're giving the ocean too much credit. As self-defense, the hagfish will sweat buckets of slime, a phlegm jacket that's thick enough to clog the gills of anything hungry enough to F around and unlucky enough to find out. To the point where this is the end game of a truck transporting hagfish on the highway, that's crashing. Nasty. Now, you've definitely seen this picture hell. before. Yeah. Have you ever stopped and asked yourself what they were doing there? In the look, at, look at the stuff on the bumper. Ugh. What was they trying to do with them? I think that's what you about to tell us. First uh, place. You remember how I said uh, nothing that eats like a hagfish should ever have oh to no. worry about getting eaten? Oh well, no. Simple. For these hagfish, their final destination were dinner plates in Asian countries such as South Korea where they're considered uh, a delicacy. Now, I'm not one to judge other cultures, but we seem to have a habit of constantly trying to eat all the things nature went out of its way to tell us not to. But one thing you won't see as a main course is something I mean, I it, it, it look, it don't look, like if I didn't know it was hagfish, it look I like want to eat meat. it, dude. No, Ironically named after a fruit, the sea cucumber is like the hagfish in that its meal prep consists of all the things we normally flush, burn, or bury. All the soul evacuated bodies that sink down to the ocean floor instantly get put on the cucumber's grocery list. It's a of literal course. bottom feeder, and I mean that since they'll also make a meal out of feces. But like oh with vultures, if Thanos had beef with sea cucumbers, the world would become an infinitely more disgusting place. That's not the only way sea cucumbers contribute to society. They're also often used as a protective bunker for fish, and well, Let's just say they break in through the back door. Oh yeah, it's Yo! a violation of the highest Yo! natural law. It gets worse when Yo! a crawfish decides to have a play date right next to its prostate. I don't even know if they have a prostate, but you get what I mean. And if that makes you uncomfortable, here's an ad to give you time to mentally prepare for what's next. This Yo! adorable little guy is known as a basket star. It's a type of brittle star and an echinoderm, which actually makes it a close cousin of the sea cucumber. If you ever learned about fractals in geometry, then that's why the repeating pattern of branching arms might look familiar. It's also why the US is really wasting $20 billion a year looking into space, because the real ET shit is happening right here. Because of the unsightly way basket stars get from A to B, they've also earned the nickname sea snakes. I feel itchy all of a sudden. However, even though it looks like something Lucifer would like use to himself, they eat mostly zoophytes and are pretty much harmless for the most part. And honestly, that pretty much describes 80% of the nonsense in the deep sea, only really harmful to your peace of mind. Like take the frilled shark. Having been around for 80 something million years, not only is a frilled shark- <laughs> Fish and friends, not food. <laughs> it's likely nature's rough draft beta version of sharks today. Also, don't let this video fool you. They can grow to a respectable six feet long. Also, they can be pregnant for three and a half years, which Damn. honestly makes about as much sense as everything else down there. And in terms of your mental health, the first shark is pretty harmless until you look them in the mouth. The devil's flashlight has hundreds oh, of needle like teeth. Oh man, genetic. imagine. That bite then he that bite me crazy. Like, ah! Anything well, that gets, all think, I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, all I'm saying. I think he think it's good. Nah, you say you think it tastes good? The head good. I'm talking. <laughs> all I'm saying, we take like six Teslas, drop them in the ocean. <laughs> That's insane. So solar panels. <laughs> we good. Doesn't get a second chance to pursue happiness. It and don't. for a shark that's been around long enough to have attended Saturn's wedding. I don't know why, but every picture of them looks like they're struggling with their own existence. Like I said though, they're not a threat to humans. But like I also said, therapy ain't cheap, so if you don't want to end up on a couch, don't look a frilled shark in the mouth. But yeah, you'd be surprised at just how many types of sharks you'll find in Bro, the same neighborhood SpongeBob got stranded in creepy. that one time. You have 20 foot sleeper sharks that are somehow able to use huh? stuff to just spawn and inhale sustenance like a water Kirby. Speaking of sleepers, in 2015, a Pacific sleeper was recorded in the Solomon's Island. Why is that important? Well, its home address was right under an active volcano, proving that if any animal had plot armor, it'd be sharks. 
Okay. Then you have the ghost shark, which, okay, yeah, okay. you got me, is it an actual shark? It's a close cousin known as a chimera. The, the ghost the, part, though, geez, that's on brand. All that's that's clear. The dry bones fish from Mario. The ghost not hey, a shark doesn't even have the teeth you'd expect it to have, but instead they have plates that they use to grind up food. But since nature's constantly overcompensating, chimeras do have venomous spines that are harmful to more than just your mental well-being. But by far the weirdest thing about them, chimeras what, what, have a tenaculum what, 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 what? on their forehead. A tenaculum is a that reproductive thing? organ, meaning this oh, fish ugh. has a... Yeah, on his forehead. Venom and just that aside, this fish fresh out of Tim Burton's wet dream is actually pretty cool looking. And I'm just gonna say it, I think they're cute, and I'm perfectly no. fine with standing on that no hill. No way. However, I don't think you'll find a single soul on this next shark's hill. Feast your eyes on the goblin shark, a oh, yeah. goblin can fish with a mouth that snaps like nobody's business. They're rarely seen, but are known to live in oceans okay. all around the world at depths of up to 4,200 feet below the surface of the ocean, and are estimated to get to 18 feet long, which is really big for a deep sea shark. You might have seen videos online of their jaws just fully ejecting from their brain case in a process no. called slingshot feeding. It's kind of what they're known okay. for. Their upper yeah. and lower jaws lunge forward away from the skull, engulfing their prey. I know it probably yeah. seems ridiculous and almost alien, but it's actually not uncommon. Most fish have jaws that are I just wanna how many things are there down there that we don't know about? Hey look, we we, we like, wouldn't have to know about we, that if we, we put know. some Teslas in there. <laughs> that's not that's gonna, gonna work. Solar, I'm telling you, you that's give not gonna hey, work. Hey, give me a plus and a minus and a, a big enough battery and them no, it's done. Damn, that's I'm, probably gonna be done. I'm jumping out there. In the yard! You gonna jump off my cradle. My cradle. <laughs> Dream on! Entirely attached. One might argue that the goblin shark is the most extreme example of this look until you see a video of the slingjaw rats who uh -huh. use suction feeding Whoa. to snatch up their prey. They look like they have a trombone stuck in their mouth. That's Hear me out! Hear me out! No, they got teeth. We got uh, teeth too! Uh, Hear me out! Uh, I'm just saying! Man, for no reason. I'm just Nobody even think it's comical. They just think you're weird. That's the. Hey. Goblin sharks have I'm a particularly long snap, and it's not for nothing. They have sensory structures, pores all over it that help them locate their prey, like squid, fish, and crustaceans. And I am personally grateful I am not a squid, fish, or crustacean. Yeah, Me goblin's too. the right word for the only shark in the world with a receding gum line. But you gotta admit, <laughs> eating your own gum. jaw to catch calories is pretty Is that a n- That's a <laughs> You're gonna find that a lot of the creatures rolling in a deep have evolved some of the most creative that ways is, of bagging groceries. Probably the most popular the is the fish angler. that nearly turned Nemo into an orphan. The yeah, angler yeah, yeah. has two defining personality traits, and one of them is that fishing lure hanging right in front of those life-canceling jaws. That light actually comes from bioluminescent bacteria shacking up inside a modified fin. So when a bite-sized light work swims up to the light thing and it just cops some easy protein, the angler ensures that some fish out there never oh. sees its father again. The other thing right. anglerfish got caught for is their mating habits. I'm not gonna get into it, just that if your marriage looks anything like theirs, you're gonna need both a divorce and a restraining order. And you know what? Intensive Why? therapy on top of that, expert freaking diciously. Nemo's paralysis demon isn't the only deep sea creature to weaponize light. This distinguished gentleman is known as a stop black. light loose jaw, and his defining trait is that it uses a red light to hunt which turns out to be a massive Chico, since the longer the wavelength of a color, the less energy that wavelength has, and the faster it gets absorbed by water. And since the color red has the longest wavelength out of all of them, it's the first one to get absorbed. This is why red light okay. can't reach the deep sea, and the animals living in the abyss that are red actually appear black, which makes it easier for them to hide from predatory smoke. Uh, but with a okay. stoplight using red as a searchlight, it's pretty much cracked at this version of hide and seek. Not to mention, since so most of the light down there can't him. even see red, it's able to catch bodies while also not giving up its location to predators or the prey it packs up. This fish really evolved that the was, whole wall hack tough. and the real life invisibility cloak. Tell me that ain't crazy. And, and that's, that that's the him fish. Shows that once prey is found, it's lost forever. But why hunt prey when you could just sit and wait for it to come to you? That's the entire playbook for the deep sea lizard fish. Just look at that smile. You that know one crazy. Boy, they out of Boy that's scary. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, look, I get rich, ocean. Listen, listen, to ocean. Listen, to seven seas. Why would you want to do that? Listen, to Atlantic, Pacific, Indian. I can't remember the rest. Y'all in trouble, okay? Me, and Elon. 
Me and they're Eli, not. we cover for y'all. They're not. And they're over two feet long. They earned the title of being one of the premier apex predators of the deep sea. As a habitual camper, they lie waiting for life hey. to pass them by. Campus, stop on that camp! Hypodermic needles for teeth to cancel it. Now with apex standing for anyone providing smoke gets extinguished, lizardfish don't hesitate to turn their own kind into like coffin it. fodder. And with the whole point of those teeth being to hold struggling, panicking prey in place, they make sure they don't live long enough to learn from their mistake. But as much of a therapy build as oh Gecko this is mugshot terrifying. might be, yeah, that's it might not even be the worst headshot in the ocean. Up. Not as long as this oh My is god, I might know anyone who would waste a- I, was, I wasn't even talking about it. The oxygen trying to defend this. He kind of looks like a lemur. I say this is a face only a mother could love. Well, then maybe he is my son. This is the deep sea telescope fish, one of the most stunning creatures of the deep tropical ocean. At least ocean. the name so is simple. It's about 1,600 to 6,600 feet below the surface of the ocean. I can't say that normally. Surface of the ocean. And like you'll see if you look up photos of them online, they are often photographed at unfortunate angles that don't do them. <laughs> they orient themselves upwards, hanging out vertically in the water column as they use their special adapted eyes to hunt for the silhouettes of their prey. There are two species of telescope fish, Gigantera indica and right. Gigantera chuni. Don't be fooled by their genus name, which makes them sound like they're gigantic. That is not they're the not case at all. Indica timing. only gets to about eight inches long and chuni a measly six. They are just little guys. Gigantera actually That's, translates- It's average. Yeah, he eight said inches it. Long and chuni he said it. Measly six. They are just he said it. I say they're well above average. Yep. yep. <laughs> little guys. Gigantera actually translates to big tail. Specifically, they are about half tail. But if they happen to latch onto a snack that's a bit bigger than their own size, that's no problem at all. They underwent a series of skeletal reductions that allow for more room to just fold it in half. That's right. They are expert folders. In 1925, scientists oh found God. five and a half inch long viper fish inside the stomach of a three inch long telescope fish. Oh they my described gosh. it as we folded, an incredible quality possessed by the lovely telescope fish. Yeah, I'm sure if we gave it Blistex and a hairline restoration surgery, he'd be cute, <laughs> that's just me. That being said, there's a lot of pretty that dope is, things that just That boy need that Gideon surgery. Hey, shout out to my boy. Take Jeez. the barrel-eyed fish, the fish with a transparent head that means it can spot ops or prey directly above it. Thanks to those two green gummy- Why does it exist? I, I, I'm saying, I'm why does this exist? need to be down there for? That thing don't got nobody. <laughs> All the body pitch black <laughs> and a translucent head. That's I so, shouldn't see this. I'm, I'm just seeing stuff that I never imagined the Looking would be orbs that are actually its eyes. Or the ultra rare giant phantom jellyfish equipped with that's 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 that makes this ET understudy the length of the whale shark. That's when an I say alien. rare, I mean this jelly's only been seen like a hundred times in the history of mankind. So the fact that you're watching that's this right alien. now is kind of wild. Then you have the deep sea Dumbo octopus that copes with fuck? stress by turning itself into a ball to discourage predators from eating it. And if this right here looks familiar, yeah right to his thighs. Uh, the vampire yeah. squid does the inverse as they'll turn themselves inside out and into their own personal panic room whenever they're pressed by a possible predator. And how about a sea pig for you? Take everything I said about sea cucumbers and forget it for a second because honestly, they're just really cute in a way I can't fully explain. But it's not going to see what makes this squid instant serotonin. Rosie Pacifica or the stubby squid that's is actually real? more like a cuttlefish. It's also now a that's cuttlefish a cute fish. and it's nature's apology letter for the sheer trauma it saturated the ocean with. It's actually real, and those arts and crafts looking eyes help it catch prey on a nocturnal schedule. It's also important mm. as an environmental indicator, since scientists will often study their responses to changes in water pH and use that to determine how polluted the water is around them. Which you would think would earn this anime octopus the respect of the scientific community. Well, you'd be wrong, there's a video where some scientists found one, and let me just say, not even Hiroshima got roasted that hard. But that's gonna do it for Whoa. this video. Make sure you go ahead and drink Whoa. water, Whoa. hug your moms. Go subscribe to Lindsay's channel, link will be in the description. Jeez. Shout out to Lindsay for being in this video. Shout out to Lindsay, shout out to Casual. Jeez, I didn't need to see none of these. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm kinda ruined.